in the Thoth Tarot deck, the Nine of Wands is associated with the Moon in the astrological sign of Sagittarius. The Moon represents emotions, intuition and the subconscious mind. It signifies fluctuation, cycles and the unseen forces at work within us. Sagittarius is a fire sign ruled by Jupiter associated with expansion, optimism and philosophical pursuits. Sagittarius energy is adventurous, free-spirited and seeks higher knowledge and understanding. Combining the moon's influence with Sagittarius energy, the Nine of Wands reflects emotional strength and resilience in the face of challenges. Moon in Sagittarius suggests a blending of intuition and optimism. It encourages trusting your instincts, maintaining a positive outlook, even during difficult times. The Nine of Wands in the Thought Tarot deck corresponds to the Sephira of Yesod on the Tree of Life. Yesod is the ninth Sephira on the Tree of Life, located directly above Malkuth, Kingdom. It represents the foundation, the realm of the subconscious, dreams, intuition, and the gateway between the material world and the spiritual realms. Yesod is associated with the moon and the realm of the emotions and imagination. Number nine is often associated with completion, culmination and fulfillment. It represents reaching a point of attainment or accomplishments before transitioning to a new cycle or beginning. In the context of the Nine of Wands, this suggests that the challenges and defenses depicted in the card are part of a larger cycle of growth and evolution. The individual has reached a stage where they have overcome significant obstacles and are nearing the completion of a particular phase in their journey. So, the Nine of Wands relates to the energy of Yesod, symbolizing the integration of the experiences and challenges encountered on the path toward spiritual growth and enlightenment. It suggests that the individual is drawing upon the subconscious realm, intuition, and inner strength to navigate through the trials depicted in the card, ultimately leading to a deeper understanding of themselves and their place within the larger cosmic order. The Nine of Wands card presents defined resistance against a threatening situation or experience. At the same time, it points out that, in reality, there is no objective threat as opposed to the Seven of Wands, only the memory of our past painful experiences evoke these fears and the defensive reaction. It indicates a closure, often referred to as cone heart in the tale. In general, it says that we do not want to take steps that are important for our own development. In some cases, however, it refers almost completely to the opposite. We have just made a decisive step, and now we are closing the door with full force, cutting off the path of retreat. In this case, its meaning is much more positive and developmental, but it shows that we did not do something right. We ran away, and we fear that the past will catch up. However, true farewell means that we have already closed the given period of experience in our lives, we have already defeated it and no longer fear the past. The Nine of Wands is called Strength and it is ruled by the Moon and Yes Sword. It is the intense energy of the primal elements of nature, call them electrons, atoms, anything you will, it makes no difference. Change, 
guarantees the order of nature. This is why in learning to ride a bicycle one falls in an extremely awkward and ridiculous manner. Balance is made difficult by not going fast enough. So also one cannot draw a straight line if one's hand shakes. This card is a sort of elementary parable to illustrate the meaning of this aphorism, change is stability. Here the moon, the weakest of the planets, is in Sagittarius, the most elusive of the signs, yet it dares call itself strength. Defense, to be effective, must be mobile. This card is referred to Ye Sod, the foundation. This brings the energy back into balance. The nine represents always the fullest development of the force in its relation with the forces above it. The nine may be considered as the best that can be obtained from the type involved, regarded from a practical and material standpoint. This card is also governed by the moon in Sagittarius, so here is a double influence of the moon on the tree of life, hence the aphorism, change is stability. The wands have now become arrows. There are eight of them in the background and in front of them one master arrow. This has the moon for its point and the sun for the driving force above it. For the path of Sagittarius on the tree of life joins the sun and moon. The flames in the card are tenfold, implying that the energy is directed downwards. Now the fiery wands have reached the happy nine, the number that reflects on itself, entering the fields of Yesod, imagination and reflection back in the middle of the tree of life. Thus the nine of wands remembers the own qualities, showing the full powers of the fiery element rising again. So the card shows strength, determination and discipline, preparing itself for the final step to completion. The shadow side of the card implies a warning that we should use our spiritual consciousness to concentrate on our inner strength and master our will and make it effective in the world we live in. Drive, spiritual truth, realization, light, combination of the consciousness with the unconsciousness, great success but with strife and energy, victory preceded by apprehension and fear, shadow, conflicts, contradictions. Keywords, sun in Sagittarius, power, perfection from the combination of conscious and unconscious energies. Advice, you are on the path where you discover your true strength. Trust your inner leader. Perhaps you would like to participate in groups that can help you develop and develop your potential. Questions. Do you feel some fear about your own strength? In which areas of your life does this fear come to light? Suggestion. Listen to your dreams. What are you dreaming about lately? Revelation. I know more and more who I am. This realization leads to the full development of my potential strength. 